animals before. They're cows. What are they for? Don't tell me these are for meat as well. Well, some cows are, but these are for making milk. How do they do that? Except if we go to that window, we'd be able to watch. milk in their udders, and when they're milked, the milk is sucked out and it goes through those pipes, into a big tank. Fascinating. Uh, but why is she washing them? Well, they don't need dirt to get them to the milk, do they? No, I suppose not. Come on. Is this the field those cows came from? I think so, yes. What's going on over there, then? Looks like they're putting down paving stones. Why should anybody want to do that? I expect them to get awfully muddy around the water trough with all those cows tramping about. And then the mud might splash over the cows, and that would be a nuisance, because they need to be cleaned for milking. So they're putting paving stones down to cover up the mud. But I can't see any mud. Not now. It's when it rains. Rain? What is rain? Don't they have rain in to where you live? No. What is it? Well, it's water coming down from the sky. Water? Very dangerous. We have floods in Sutra. That's what damaged my computer. You should stop the rain. Stop the rain? You can't do that. Things won't grow. Oh, I see. But what about all the nasty mud? Well, it's too much of a nuisance. You'll have to do something like that. But I don't think the man's got enough paving stones to finish the job. It doesn't look like it, does it? No, I think you'll have just enough. Well, I don't. Well, let's put the rest of the stones down and see. We can't move these heavy stones. With the through stock, we can. Stand clear. Wow. Uh, and they don't fit just like I said. Ah. Ah, yes, well. Hmm. Ah! To make them fit, we should have laid them the other way round. What do you mean? Well, these stones are longer one way than they are the other way. So if we turn them round and lay them all like that, they will fit. Try it and see. Looks as though you're right, Paul. But it's better than it was. At least you made them cover more of the earth than they did. I should say they don't cover up as much. Well, I should say they cover up exactly the same amount of ground as they covered up before. No more, no less. How do you work that out? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. But whatever way you put them down, there are always the same number of stones, aren't there? Quick, put them back. The workman's coming. <laughs> What I don't understand is how cows make milk. What they make it out of. Grass. They make it out of grass. They eat the grass, and inside the cow's body, it turns into milk. <laughs> That's very clever of them. I suppose it is. Never thought about it before. So I suppose the more grass they eat, the more milk they make. That's right. Well then, silly farmer. <laughs> 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 
Why, silly? He's covered up some of the grass. With those huts, you mean? Yes. Come over here. Look, the cows can't reach underneath to get the grass, so they can't make so much milk. Well, the ducks have to have somewhere to go at night time. Yes. But these huts don't have to be so close together. How do you mean? Well... Well, if this one was pushed forward, and these two were spaced out a bit more, there'd be more grass in between. More grass for the cows to eat. Are you sure? Well, it makes sense to me. Look, let's go back into the box and see what the computer thinks. But, Pauka, you said it was broken. Oh, it's feeling much better since it bent you two. I think it's getting its memory back. Tracy, will you handle the true stock while I feed the computer? Yes, please. Can I come with you? You still think I'm wrong, don't you? Well, I'm not sure yet. Come along, then. Put us back in the box, Tracy. Ticky ticky top. Into the box. Now, first we need to go upwards to get a good view of the huts. Now, Tracy, take the true stock and point it at the huts. Now, we show that to the computer. <laughs> well, I think there's more grass than there was before. What does the computer think? Oh, it won't know. It's broken. Can't you ask it? All right, then. <clears throat> Information, please. At your service. There's more grass, isn't there? No. You see? It's pointless. I think it does know. Is there less grass? No. So there must be the same amount of grass. Correct. Well, I'm still not sure about that. Can you explain? To start with, huts all in a row. Three huts. After the huts have moved, still three huts. No more, no less, the same. Amount of grass to start with. Amount of grass afterwards. No more, no less, the same. I reckon the computer's working perfectly at the moment. Hmm. It's difficult, but I think I'm beginning to see. No matter where you put the huts, there's always the same amount of grass. Have you finished? Oh, sorry, Tracy. Yes, we finished. All right, then. Ticky ticky tuck into the box. Well, what did you find out? <laughs> it doesn't matter where you put the huts. There's always the same amount of grass. Good. I thought that too. Can we go home now? What's the hurry? My mum's decorating my bedroom. I want to see if she's finished. Would you like to see how she's getting on? From here? Can we? Easy. Yes, please. Oh, lovely. She's finished the two walls I wanted to be papered. Now she's on with the walls I wanted to be painted. Oh, dear. She's not going to have enough paint. Yes, she will. She's just starting a new tin. But she used a whole tin on the first wall. And that had a window in it, which didn't use any of the paint. Well, this wall has a door in it, which won't use any of the paint. That's all right, then. But I don't think the door's as big as the window. Yes, it is. It's bigger. It's not easy to tell. How can we tell which is bigger when they're different shapes? I can tell. I can tell. You can? <laughs> it must be feeling better. Go on, show us. Problem. Find size of window. Size of window. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six 
squares. Opposite wall problem. Find size of door. Size of door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight squares. Window size, six squares. Door size, eight squares. So which is bigger, the door or the window? The door. So, is the wall she's doing going to need more paint or less paint than the wall she's already done? Less paint. So is she going to have enough? Yes! Ah. <laughs> oh, but she's not going to be finished for ages. Oh, that's no problem at all. Would you like me to speed her up? How can you do that? Watch. <laughs> Great. She'll be finished in no time. I wish you were around when it's my turn to wash the dishes. <laughs> OK. Let's get you home. <laughs> what about my song? Is there time for that? All right, then. Thank you. <clears throat> It was an interesting day. Thank you both very much. And now I must be getting back to suit. Why won't you tell us where it is, Pauka? Well, the truth is, I don't really know. And the computer can't explain it because it's not working properly. But I know a riddle about Suta. Uh, perhaps you could figure it out. So what's the riddle? Oh! I lie in a bed with a bed above me. Too easy. It's a bunk bed. Uh, no, no, we don't have bunk beds in Suta. I don't get it. Well, think about it, eh? Off you go. Uh, see you again next week. Bye-bye. Tiki tiki tocks out of the box. Where Suter was. He lies on a bed with a bed above him. And they have animals with no legs. Oh, yes. It still needs the same amount of ground. It does. Exactly the same amount of ground. 